overall, cupping gets a really bad rap <laughs> in the physio world because they look at traditional cupping. And I think if you listen to some of the principles of what I was talking about, it's it's kind of irrefutable that putting a cup on someone while they're doing something that was painful and improving their capacity to go through a bigger range of motion or add more load to that exercise that you're trying to get them to do, it, it's a great tool, right? You don't have to think about it as, I don't use it for blood flow. A lot of traditional cupping, is it's used for blood flow. And blood flow, I, I put them on a bike for blood flow, right? I, I haven't used an ultrasound in, in the last 10 years. I haven't done anything from a passive mobility standpoint for blood flow in a long time. And that includes cupping. I don't use cupping for blood flow. There's so many better things for that. I'm using it for local tissue effect, trying to prove viscoelasticity and fluid dynamics in the area when we think about the hyaluronic acid slide glide properties. And then I'm really using it to build rapport and improve the confidence in them, their ability to kind of move through things. That's really, again, the big distinction between traditional cupping and myofascial decompression. So that's really kind of what we've geared towards with this type of tool.